I'm meteorologist Stacy Donaldson. Storms brewing here off to the west. As you look out toward the mountains from Westminster, you can really see those dark clouds. This is a severe thunderstorm warning in effect out toward Golden, and we'll continue to see storms uh, off to the west as we go through tonight and perhaps a few isolated storms here in Denver, but it'll be a really nice Thursday morning as we've had for the last week or so. Nice mornings, afternoon storms, and we'll see more of that going into the end of the week. Even wetter weather on the way for the weekend. So for our game three watch party planner tonight. Mostly cloudy skies for the next few hours and then we'll see a chance for some scattered showers into the later evening. As for our weather almanac today, we made it up to 75 degrees so far today. 50 degrees are overnight low and the record 98 set back in 2004. 81 is the average afternoon high this time of year. 69 degrees downtown, 74 at DIA and our humidity level at 46%. So mostly 70s and 80s here across eastern Colorado with 50s and 60s for the higher elevations. Let's go back here right to Denver. Ozone action alert day in effect for tomorrow here for the front range. There's a severe thunderstorm warning. Now the key thing about this isolated storm, it's moving away from Denver, going up into the foothills towards Central City and Idaho Springs and the thunderstorm warning in effect until 445. Flash flood watch in effect until 9 o'clock tonight, mostly because we're expecting heavy thunderstorms to uh, affect this western area from the front range. So we're keeping an eye on all the storms that have popped up, but mostly we have flash flood warnings in effect in the red shaded areas here in the burn scar region. So those are areas that can't handle all of this water that will be coming out of these storms. And we have a lot of stormy activity here from Steamboat all the way toward Trinidad. And this is the extent of the flash flood watch in through tonight. So we're watching these areas carefully. Flash flood watches here stretching from fair play down toward Walsenburg. And for the rest of tonight, we'll see scattered showers here even as we get toward the 6 to 7 p.m. hour across the area. Perhaps a few more scattered showers as we get through the later evening. I do think we'll see some of those popping up here in Denver. Temperatures right around 50 degrees overnight with 30s and 40s off to the west. 40s from Nederland up toward Allens Park and 30s near Rocky Mountain National Park. We'll have 50s here up in northeastern Colorado and chances for afternoon thunderstorms again during the day tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures in the 70s here for the metro area. 60s off to the west toward Nederland and 70s near Aspen and Eagle. Even 60s near Telluride and 70s for the southwestern part of the state. So as for our future cast going into tomorrow afternoon, this will be just after lunchtime. We'll see those thunderstorms pop up in the heat of the day. More thunderstorm activity here for the front range as we get closer to five o'clock and then they move on their way as we get through the rest of the evening. A low risk for severe weather across the state tomorrow, which is at least good news, but we are still expecting heavy rain showers to pop up as we go through our afternoon and evening for the next couple of days, but then heavy showers expected over the weekend. Temperatures dropping out of the 70s into the 60s for Sunday and then chances for afternoon storms Monday and Tuesday.